Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am a fourth year foundation phase student and today I am preparing for online class. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you along with how I prepare and set up. So right now my room is kind of a mess. That is the books that I need to cover um, my... Oof, which way? Why can I not point to the laptop bag? Okay, that is my laptop. That's clothes from this weekend. My desk is kind of a mess in a way. Um, so yeah, this is just a realistic representation of how I get myself prepared. Um, obviously, I haven't gotten myself prepared for a new year because we've only just starting. But I am very excited to bring you along with how I prepare and maybe dropping a few tips here and there. Um, I think first thing I'm going to do is unpack my bag um, and then I'll probably... I think I'm gonna set my desk up first and just kind of get that figured out and then I will wrap my books in new wrapping but that's like another story so I'm gonna explain what I mean by new wrapping in like just a few minutes probably um i'm sorry i just keep looking at myself but the camera is over here so i just it's difficult not to look at yourself but anyway um let me just talk or show you kind of what i would like my setup to be um i want to make sure that it's a space that i feel proud of and that a space that I want to work at, a space that is going to inspire me. Um, so that normally starts off with it being clean. Um, but let me just kind of, it's nothing major, but I am just going to kind of explain how I would like it to look and the feel I'd like to get. So right now, as you can see, there's like headphones, jowl, a candle, plugs, there's that over there. Obviously, that's going to be gone soon. Um, I have... Ugh, these are things, documents you can't see. Um, I have these things <laughs> that you also can't see. I have my calendar and then obviously my stationery and then this calendar over here. I want to put up my schedule of class, which I am extremely excited to say that our university actually gave us a set schedule hopefully our lecturers stick to it but so far so good i've been in contact with a few of them it's feeling great we're all feeling good feeling positive um so i just wanted to add that in there so i actually am going to be putting a schedule up which is great in here i have all my caps documents from grade R to grade 3, very helpful. I like to have mine um, hard copy. It just, it makes it easier for me. And then in here, I just have these. These are empty. I don't know what I'm going to put in those yet. Then in this drawer, I have a file for PowerPoints and notes. And then that's Afrikaans, but it's for my tasks. So let's get straight into unpacking. I'll probably do a quick time lapse of me doing that. Don't mind that area and all of Everything happening in my room right now, my study space, is a mess and I'm well aware of it. But I'm going to be prepared by tomorrow and this is how I prepare. Um, and if tips and tricks come along the way, then they do. But if they don't, uh, this is just a fun vlog of a student getting ready for the new academic year. And my last academic year. <laughs> I am, I'm extremely excited. Okay. Okay, so I've cleaned up that area, including that part over there. Um, I've set my laptop up so far. It's not how I want it just yet. Uh, behind me, a different story. That's still there. That's happening. You know, we all have a corner like that. Um, obviously, that is happening and that is also happening. I'm well aware of those things that are happening, but I'm choosing to ignore it right now because that's... I just don't want to focus on it right now. It's just giving me really negative energy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I will clean that up, but right now I'm just focusing on this area. I'd like to print my calendar thing. I'm very excited. Um, but first, I just quickly wanted to talk a little bit about how I am going to do, just poke myself with the wrapping paper, how I want to take notes this year and how I plan on keeping up 
doing online things? I just definitely thought I pressed record and did not. So I spoke about everything. But I was rambling, so maybe this is just my second chance, you know. I'm sorry about the light and the dog barking, but reality is this is what's happening. Um, I wanted to talk about my books and notes and how I'm doing that this year. Um, I am taking a different approach. How I wanted to do it in second year, when we were still on campus, was I would take notes in class, but then I would come home and summarize in an actual book that was dedicated to that subject. Um, and that was working. And then the situation that the world went into, because I don't want YouTube to demonetize my video, um, that changed everything. And then I kind of just forgot about the books and was like, oh, whatever, I'm not doing this anymore. The lecturers are just sending us notes or the lecturers just don't care, whatever. Mindset change because fourth year and I have in-person finals. So now I have five dedicated books to each subject and I'm going to wrap it in some beautiful wrapping paper that I found at Mr. Price. Just look at this gorgeousness. It's on sale. I only paid 11 Rand for it. But the moral of the story that I'm trying to get at is I am going to be taking notes. I'm going to be doing summaries and I'm saying it on YouTube because if I don't, I have people that can hold me accountable. But um, because we have in-person finals at the end of this year, um, I am going to put a little bit more effort into it. This is just this is just real life. I'm not going to lie to you all and sit and say, I did amazing summaries last year and I put in my 100% effort. Because to be honest with you, I didn't. I was over it. I was annoyed. And it just felt like it was never ending. And our lecturers just weren't pulling their weight, etc., etc. But now, it doesn't matter if the lecturer is not going to pull their weight. Um, I'm not in third year anymore. I'm in fourth year, which means I'm so close to finished. So I need to pull my weight and do my best. But what I can say is I am very happy with my lecturers at the moment because they are really putting in a lot of effort. Um, but yeah, so that is my plan. My plan is to attend all my classes and like religiously attend them and pay attention because that's the thing I did last year as well. It's like I would go, but like just to show face. And um, that is not how I want to approach this year. Um, so I'm changing that up. Um, I've put my textbooks in over here there's like a side compartment so my textbooks are easy to reach my caps documents are easy to reach and then another thing that i'm doing to prepare and a very important thing well not prepare it's just a behavior or a thing that i'm implementing in my online learning for however long it may last this year if it's the whole year if they decide in the middle of the year that they're changing it up whatever it is a routine um, and I know that sounds like so self-explanatory because you have to wake up certain times to have classes and stuff. But the thing is, my schedule, like Mondays, I only have a class from 11 to 1. Um, it's a given, okay, I have a lot less classes because I only have five modules. But nonetheless, I still want to get into a routine. And now there's a few reasons why. Is firstly, it helps me feel like I'm actually doing something and then I'm starting my day for a purpose. Um, and part of my routine will be getting dressed. Um, as much as it is fun to stay in your pajamas, um, wouldn't recommend. It makes you extremely lazy, if I could put it like bluntly. Um, it just makes you feel like you don't want to do anything. It's like you can't start your day. Um, another part of my routine is obviously to wake up early and to go to sleep early because this is the reality of like, I need to prepare my body for doing practical. I also need to prepare my body for a job one day. Um, and I know that's kind of far-fetched because I'm literally only starting class tomorrow. But um, it's still important nonetheless. Um, also, eating properly. Like, when you wake up just before your class, you've not fueled your body because you're, like, literally running late. And I speak from experience. And that is something that I would like to avoid this year is I just... I want to be awake and I want to be present and I just want to make the most of the situation. And I know me personally, I thrive off of routine. Now, this holiday has been extremely long. I've been on holiday since October. I'm over it now. Like, I never thought in a million years when I was in high school, I would ever say I'm over a holiday. But I'm 
over the holidays like I'm just like bring on all the academics my brain feels like it's losing brain cells because I'm literally doing nothing and like that is just not okay with me so I'm just I'm ready for it and it does yeah I don't know I just am rambling but I hope all of this makes sense obviously what I am going to do from tomorrow onwards is start to plan you know when they start sending you the subject guides and like the planning of when things need to be in of course that's a given I'm going to do planning because that's just what I love to do but uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my books I'm going to make sure that my desk is neat and then the rest of my room is looking in tip-top shape I'm going to choose an outfit that I would like to wear for my first day of my last year of studies before I am a qualified teacher. I mean, if that is not out with outfit worthy, I cannot speak, then I don't know what is. So I'm going to choose out a cute outfit and then I'm going to shower and I'm going to get into bed because my body needs to learn that it's time to sleep early. <laughs> and it's time to wake up early um but it, it like kind of feels surreal because I'm not going anywhere it's like I'm just gonna sit here at my desk <laughs> but it is different I am gonna have a class there are lecturers are gonna be contacting us I'm excited I'm just a ball of mixed emotions anyway I think I'm talking too much but I am going to finish the vlog off here um and then i will see you all again in the next video so if you don't i really don't want you to miss that so i would appreciate if you like and subscribe and if you share this with anyone who's going to be doing online um and yeah that's just where we're at and this is like realistically how I deal with preparing for online there's not much to it but what there is to it is important if that makes sense anyway I'll see you all in the next video bye